Greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to get user input in Java. So by user input, I'm meaning when we hit play, a little output window will appear. And I'm going to teach you how you can get the user to type in stuff, store that in a variable, and then validate that variable. So that's what I mean by user input. I will be doing a tutorial on how to get user input via a GUI, so stay tuned for that. But let's get right into it. So, we have got two things. We have got our main method, and inside we've just got a system.out.println statement. And it says, please enter your name. Then we've got a public static boolean is name long enough function. And it takes in the parameter, which is string name, and just returns a boolean. It's going to return if the length of this string called name is greater than five characters. This is an example of validating data. If you want to know how to validate data, click the eye up in the corner. There's a playlist with basically anything you probably want. If there's something you want that's not there, leave a comment, I will do it. So we're going to use this just to show you how we could use a validation function to validate for user input. So let's get right into getting that user input. Import java.util.scanner, put this at the top of your code. Then do the following lines. Scanner input equals new scanner system.in. So what's going on here? We're creating a scanner object from the java.util.scanner class. A scanner object can basically obtain user input. It scans for input, I guess you could say. And this object, we need to give it a name, so we call it input. Then we do equals new scanner system.in. This is just a, a constructor method. Basically, the method we call when we create an object. So that's what's going on here. And system.in, basically a system input. Then we do string name equals input.nextline. So, what's ever on the next line, after the user hits enter, will be assigned to a string called name. So if I was to write Bob Marley, and then hit enter, Bob Marley would be assigned to the string name. And that variable, whenever I call it, will have the value of Bob Marley. If I were to put subscribe to Maxo Diddly, and then hit enter, name would have the value of subscribe to Maxo Diddly, which is also something you should do. So that's how we get user input, but how do we validate that user input? Well, we can use an if statement as one way. So we can do if is name long enough name. And you might be thinking, but Max, why are you just calling this function with our name variable, which we have here? Well, when you call a Boolean function, if you call it by itself, you're checking if it's true. If you put an exclamation mark before it, you're checking if it's false. And it also makes the co code quite readable, because if you read this out loud in English, it's if is name long enough. Which is quite readable, and you think, okay, we're checking if the name is long enough. Which is very handy for someone who's reading your code, who is foreign to your code base. And then we do system.out.println, thanks plus name. We're going to reference the user input, and we're going to put a thanks beforehand to say thank you for entering your name. And this occurs if the input is long enough. If it's not long enough, we do system.println, name is not long enough. You don't need to worry about how this function is validating the name. You can watch all the tutorials I have on to learn all the validation. This is just showing you how you could use a validation function, and how to combine it with user input. So to recap, we create a scanner object. This object will be reading for user input. Then you assign the user input to a string. You can do other varied data types if you want to, but we're keeping it as a string to be simple. Then we can use an if statement, call our function, pass in our string input, then put some code in the else statements. And that's it. So let's save our code. You can use control S or you can press save and then hit play. It says, please enter your name. I'm going to type max. And it says name is not long, long enough because max is not greater than five characters long. So we're going to hit play again. 
it's going to be Max O Diddly. And it says thanks Max O Diddly because Max O Diddly is long enough as it's greater than five characters long. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you want to see more Java tutorials, be sure to subscribe and check out all of the playlists we have. We have a lot of Java content and a lot more that's going to come out. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.